Emily Dickinson was born on December 10, 1830 in the family homestead on Main Street in Amherst, Massachusetts. This here shows Dickinson's home in North Pleasant Street, where she lived during some of her lifetime. In this picture, it shows her older brother, Austin, and her younger sister, Lavina, including Emily Dickinson. Here is a quote that Dickinson wrote that comes from one of her poems called Hope is a Thing with Feathers, and it reads, Hope is a thing with feathers that perches in the soul and sings the tunes without the words and never stops at all. This is Emily Norcross, who was born on July 3rd, also known as Emily Dickinson's mother. And here is Edward Dickinson, born on 1803, who was also the father of Dickinson. Dickinson attended Amherst Academy for about seven years before entering Mount Holyoke Female Seminary in 1847. She stayed at that seminary for one year, the longest time she spent away from home. Here shows one of the poems Dickinson wrote, which is, I heard a buzz fly. Research shows that Emily Dickinson was a very depressed person. All her loved ones died before her, which brought much grief into her life. Because of that, she wrote many poems about death. I heard a fly buzz when I died, and because I could not stop for death, are two great examples. In the poem, I heard a fly buzz when I died, Emily Dickinson compares death to a small meaningless fly, possibly because of how many passings she has witnessed. Death is not a big deal anymore. Hello, sweetie. I'll be leaving tomorrow to Boston for the first legislator meeting. Yes, father, I shall bid you farewell and wait for your return. As for a farewell, I shall play the pen for you. I shall bring back gifts for the family from my trip. Don't let your mother get lonely. <laughs> All right, I got it, Father. Thank you. I just received the telegraph. This is Dr. James. I work at Boston. Today, your father has been addressed to the hospital, and we are sorry to say that he has a great illness. It would be best if his family were to come. Oh no, we have to hurry to see Father's condition. I'll prepare the horses. Austin, get the saddles and get everything we need for the trip. I'll be right back. <laughs> we have just received another telegraph. Tell us. I am very sorry to tell you this news by telegraph, but your father has passed. Oh no, we are too late. Thank you for coming to my husband's funeral. This loss is very tragic for my family and we appreciate your support. Why does everyone keep on leaving? The stress is too much to handle. Hurry, she fainted! We need to get her to the hospital! Oh my god, somebody pick her up! Yes. The bride's disease has been caused by too much stress. I'm sorry to say this, but she passed while she was unconscious. <laughs> 